Hey guys, this is Neo Brendan. Uh, we're about to jump into some spicy, spicy chicken nuggets. You're watching Cock Art. Welcome back guys, welcome to episode number 2 of Cuck Hot. We have a very special guest on our show today. This is Brendan, otherwise known as Neo Brendan. We're going to let him tell a little bit more about himself in a second. But first, we need to let you know that we've changed our eating style a little bit in that we feel, you know, perhaps in the previous episodes, uh, we've been a little bit shy on the yeah. heat. So I no, think just to up the ante and as well to uh, up the heat, we've, uh, you know, just gone straight with the sauces right into the nuggets. And uh, we're going to be experiencing mm. that, yeah. So, <laughs> Brendan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's going to be cock on, guys, yeah. <laughs> so, Brendan, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Hi, guys. So, yeah, as you guys know, my name is Neo Brendan. I'm a local DJ and producer from Johannesburg. I usually play like deep house and techno. That's you know around where my style goes. I'm trying to move into some minimal tech. Mm. And um, nice. yeah, I'm the co-owner of Smashed and Smashed Records, of and also yeah. working alongside Sheldon with RTVX. Yeah. So we've yeah. got a few great things planned, and uh, yeah, that's basically me at the moment. Yeah, yeah. that's very awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, now we um we actually really are keen to have you here on the Thank show you. with us I'm because keen to be, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we have to show our business partner what we're doing <laughs> here, you know. So our business partner also has to take part in the shit show. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to start off on the savory biltong. Yeah. Um, but as we noted also is that we took some criticism from our first episode. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually eat our, our wings first. And then thereafter, then we'll ask the question. So doing things a little bit differently in this episode. All right, so we're starting everyone off on the left-hand side. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, so this is the savory biltong from Johnny Hicksburg. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cool. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's mm. much better, yeah. Huh? Mm. That's much better. Mm. I do like that. Mm. Yeah, really nice flavor. Mm. It takes a few seconds for it to like flavor to come mm. in, but mm -hmm. you know, when it comes in, it's really yeah. yeah. Do you taste the bottom flavor? Mm. 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 I definitely do with the with the chicken nugget. Yeah. Tastes like a bottom chicken nugget. <laughs> 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 so, so. Good combo. Yeah. Good combo. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> All right, so. Brandon, tell us more about yourself as a DJ or producer. Sure, okay. So, yeah, I basically started out as a, out as a producer, um, probably around eight years ago, uh, and then just kind of transitioned into DJing. Mm. My, the software that I use is called Ableton Live. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, really keen to kind of develop that production skill into also a bit more of a live performance. Mm. Um, so yeah, DJ producer, soon to be live performer, and um, just developing my sound as time goes by. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's actually pretty great. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, no. The <laughs> next one we got going for us guys is Maskable, a fantastic little company from Cape Town. They're also a bit of a recent startup, so mm, cool. you know they've got some fantastic sources on their range and. Um, yeah, let's let's try this uh, original habanero out. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Let's support the startups. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy it, guys. Oh, cheers. Mm. Mm. Nice mm. and crispy. Yeah. Mm. Wow, I love the flavor. Mm. I really do. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you see the difference between already mm. like it's already a bit more spicier than the previous yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Mm. We totally okay. agreed on that one as okay. well. Now, now the spiciness is starting to kind of come yeah. up. <laughs> it, it, it hits you with the flavor first. Mm. Yeah. And then the spiciness comes it's in. It's like a double take almost. You're like flavor spice. Yeah. Mm. Just mm. like in that order. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It does have quite an afterburn. Mm. Uh, typical mm. habanero back of the throat kind of on yeah. the tongue and back of the throat style. Maybe yeah, a little man. bit on the palate too. Yeah, I agree on that one. Mm. And I'm actually pretty excited to see what other ones coming in the range there. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Maskable. So just to let you guys know, we do have a uh, podcast that we will be posting fairly soon mm. uh, for the Maskable side of the sources. You know, we've been con we, we've been in contact with uh, Art there uh, from Maskable, and he's given us a few uh, shooters and points on what his new sources are. And uh, yeah, yeah, surprise to come very shortly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Very keen. Yeah. So now that we've tried the second nuggets, time for the second question. Awesome, Brendan. 
Uh, my question to you is, um, you know, from an early stage, and I think you've given us a little bit of a pointer already in terms of where you came from, but sort of at what moment in your life did you decide that this is what you want to be doing uh, as a DJ, as a producer, that sort of thing? Sure. Okay. So my journey kind of started in high school when yeah. I was in around grade 10. Okay. And um, how it started was, so a friend gave me a software uh, it, it was called Magic's Music Maker, and what it okay. does is you like put in different loops mm. into like this audio workstation, and it already you know most of it's already worked out for you. Just put it in, and then you got a song. Yeah. Um, so I just did that for fun for a, for a few years, yeah. and le then I started becoming interested in like I said DJing. <clears throat> cool. And with the DJing, I got myself a controller, and still just a hobby. So still something that I was playing around with. Mm. And I'd say it started to get a bit more serious when I wanted to start making my own tracks because right. the thing was with the with the software that I had yeah. is like I said you use loops yeah so then I transitioned transitioned into uh, FL Studio uh, where I could make my own sounds mm -hmm. okay and um, then it started to kind of take a bit of a turn became a bit more serious but still for fun. And um, I think after I ha had like a few songs out, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. Yeah, it's something that I really do enjoy doing. Uh, yeah. I can feel myself. Or I can feel that I have a passion for it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just gotta follow the passion. So yeah. Then, yeah. Um, yeah, I just basically went on from there. I'd say that was around grade 12-ish. Ah, okay. Um, okay. And then yeah. after that, I studied at Boston Media House in Santon. Oh, awesome. Um, music production and sound engineering. And that was kind of like when I knew, okay, this is definitely what I'm going to start. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, that's fantastic, man. And um, yeah, just, uh, you know, obviously we've had a little bit of a chat uh, with Brennan before the show and whatnot. And he's mentioned now the previous question that he's a up-and-comer, soon-to-be live uh, producer in terms of you know playing to actual crowds yeah uh, you mentioned that uh, you've perhaps got something on this evening tell us your plans okay cool yeah, yeah. so later this afternoon um, I'm gonna be performing at an event called culture it's hosted mm -hmm. by incognito social awesome. and it's gonna be their last event or their last culture event of the year okay. um, so what's gonna be interesting about this performance for me is that it's gonna be my first live performance where I basically include my own live um, in improv improvisation yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome. over you know a DJ said I'm going to be performing with my partner uh, Leo Hi. also known as Galileo and we're going to be having a back-to-back -back. he's gonna mainly you know handle the decks and I'll be handing, handling the Ableton push pad right. which okay. I'll go into a bit later yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, I'm gonna be playing my own instruments over the over the mix. Maybe mix in, you know, different sounds, um, and just improvise. Yeah. Improvise and see where it goes. That's so. Oh awesome. yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, what kind of instruments are you thinking of playing? So over? mainly uh, for for this particular set, I'm keeping it fairly basic uh, with the instruments. So I got like a bass, sawtooth bass Ooh, sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I got a bit of sequences, mm -hmm. arpeggiators. And also some chords, oh, okay. um, you know, that I can overlay, and you know, when there's like a drop and a bass, yeah. and I can put in my own chords around it. Yeah, yeah sure, man. Um, Gotta have some strings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, for that emotional aspect. Yeah, yeah. yeah and see. um, yeah, but that's basically it. Around six or seven of these uh, different type of instruments. And that's so cool, man. So yes, sir. Oh, fuck! I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome. So awesome. now we're on to the Dr. Trouble. Yeah, now this trouble. one <laughs> is quite interesting. It's got a lemon flavor to it. Okay. Yeah, so it will be our third sauce. So yeah. let's dive cool. in. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm. Always one good. of my favorites, yeah. Mm. 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 Sorry. Mm. Mm. It's a very nice lemon flavor. Mm. So this one is actually from Zimbabwe. Um, they mass produce it in Zimbabwe, and then they ship it over to South Africa. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow, interesting. Yeah, and it's a limited edition. So mm. it's, I think from bottle, I mean from harvesting chili to um, bottling it or growing, yeah, sorry, it's growing it to uh, harvesting it and bottling it. 
is a hundred day process. Mm. Wow, mm. that's quite yeah. interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they've got a whole story. I mean, if you look at our um, unboxing video, you'll see that it came in a very nice um, displayed and presented product uh, packaging and things like that. It's all recycled, it's all renewable, you know, so they're really doing their part in terms of, you know, a nicely uh, well-rounded um, renewable uh, product. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's very good. I really love it. Eco-friendly too, yeah, exactly. especially in these days. Exactly. Yeah. We should be more aware of it. So yeah, it's definitely. Really nice. Yeah, so Brendan, my next question to you is you're talking a little bit earlier now when you mentioned your live event mm -hmm. about your um, Ableton push controller. Yes. I... Uh, yeah, so will you tell us more about it? Like what exactly is it? How does it work? Um, yeah, tell us a little bit sure, more. Sure, I actually do have it here. Um, yeah. I can show it to you yeah, guys. Yeah, That'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. yeah, let's get it started. So yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the controller right over here. And like I mentioned, it is a controller, so it does come with the Ableton software or the Ableton Live software. Okay. So basically just plug it into the laptop and it connects automatically to the software. So this works hand in hand with the Live software, like I said now, um, meaning that it's basically like the hardware version of the software. So you can do okay. a lot with it, yeah. especially with if you have the software. So mm. um, basically, all from creating melodies, creating drum patterns, to going through the mixer channel, um, creating drum loops, um, mm -hmm. you know, resizing loops, yeah. um, warping them. Um, That's super versatile. Yeah? Very yeah. versatile. You can do. You can really do a lot with it. Yeah. Um, How much does one of those go for? If that, if um, now, I think they're going around 12K, uh, 12 okay. to 14K. Yes, yes. yes. Um, I was lucky enough to get mine at a, at a good know, price. At a good price. Yeah. Because <laughs> the person that, that had it, he actually won it in a competition. Oh, yes, so see, that's that, that really, that's you know, okay, yeah. I was able good to bring the price down because yeah. it's pricey. <laughs> yeah, yes, but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really a good tool. Um, yeah. it, it helped me a lot, a lot with you know, shaping my my sound as well as you know how I kind of uh, produce my music um, mm. now I'm a bit more into a I get into a flow a bit easier mm. with this it yeah. really does kind of help shape the dynamic of my production oh, okay that's pretty awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah and I guess you know for our views that are not so sound clued up and things like that you know for me it looks like a block with a lot of buttons on but I know <laughs> we've just heard how versatile it is yeah. and things like that so tell us, I think just as a summary, you can make an entire track or like a beat or a snippet or something just off of this uh, Ableton controller. Oh yeah, definitely, mm. definitely. I mean, awesome. like I said, you do need the software because yeah. there's a controller, but yes. um, you don't even need to look at your computer while yeah. doing it because there is like an interface display over here yeah. oh, that's cool. at the top yeah. uh, with LEDs so you can kind of, you know, check what you're doing yeah. on yeah. the display yeah. yes. and then the colors kind of light up um, and the same channel that you're working on, right? Okay. So then you also know, you know, what exactly. channel yeah. you're working yes. on, okay. and uh, yeah, it's it's, it's a jaw. <laughs> yes. the, these buttons are touch sensitive, so it it also kind of helps put in an extra uh, dimension of creativity. Mm. So mm. like. For instance, when I p press it hard, the sound will come through as hard. Okay. And when I release it, it huh. you know, the sound yeah, kind of softens, softens out. Yeah, oh, softens that's out. cool. Yes, yes. Fully yeah. tactile. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Wow, yeah. that's impressive. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that. I mean, you know, you see a button, you press a button kind of thing. But yeah. that's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Right, guys. So we are now on to nugget number four. Mm. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be an interesting one. This is Makiri Kitty. It is a peri peri style uh, hot sauce. And you know, we've got chicken here. Nothing better to pair chicken with than peri peri sauce. Oh, so yeah, mm -hmm. let's dig in, guys. Awesome, cool. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Very creamy. Mmm, creamy. I would mm. to say that. Yeah. I like the creaminess. Yeah. It's also got quite a nice bite to it as mm. well. Don't mm. know about you guys, but the aftertaste. It yeah. It, mm. it builds, I want to just say mm. it, it kind of you can feel it coming closer. <laughs> mm. Mm. So um, yeah, that leads me to my next question. And I think uh, it's quite an important one, you know, because being a producer, being an artist, DJ, it all fits in with, you know, your sort of aspirations and things that excite you and things like that. 
So I think it's very important that everyone that sort of does what you do experiences this moment. And mm -hmm. the question is, you know, what is your sort of favorite moment? Looking back, um, something that was super special, you know, um, give us give us an idea of what that was. Yeah, sure. Um, I'd say one of my favorite moments until this far, especially during this year, was uh, when my track Higher Self got played on 5FM on oh, the yeah. um, wow. Das Kapital show. Yeah. So that was really a, a very nice moment for me because, mm. you know, after being in production for so long and then finally having some sort of, you know, uh, reassurance that, yeah, you are on the right track, there mm. are people that kind of exactly, yeah. enjoy yeah. what yeah. you're doing yeah. and what you're making. Um, it kind of motivates you to kind of keep on going on because sometimes it can get a bit rough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially like with the year that we've been having. Yeah. Um, it's important to kind of, you know, be reminded that you shouldn't give up. You should never give up. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you don't always need like validation from other people. Mm. Um, That's it's the not. Truth. It's not always necessary. Just do what you feel is good for yourself That's and right. what makes you happy. Yeah. But like I said, sometimes it does. It does feel encouraging when you can see other people enjoying what you're making. Yeah. Um, so that was a very special moment for me. No, exactly. I mean, you know, that sort of recognition, I can imagine, you know, for me even, you know, <laughs> to yeah. be put onto a show that's popular and, you know, a lot of people listen to it throughout South Africa. Mm. That's fantastic, man. Yeah. Thank you. And I um, couldn't agree better. I don't think you could have put it in any better words than that, in, you know, in terms of do what you enjoy. Yeah. yeah. So that's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And another point that I want to make is, you know, a lot of people get negative criticism. Mm. And then they shut down, you yeah, know, yeah. and then they they feel like, oh, yeah, people are saying my track is shit. And, mm. it, you know, it, it just gets too much. Yeah. So those people I want to say, just keep on doing what you're doing, guys. Mm. Yeah. Don't ever let anyone else tell you what you what you think is cool as shit. Yes, you can take good and bad feedback, but at the end of the day, do what you love, man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think a thing that's important for especially newcomers yeah. or people who are starting out is that it's, you know, you, enjoy what you're making but also remember that you are starting out and mm. like everything else it, it's a process yeah. so you won't start out as a you know the best producer that I've ever lived or yeah. whatever yeah. <laughs> you'll start out from from the bottom and just learn experience make mistakes mm. get that feedback don't take that feedback to heart just you know find it as yeah. it's it's a good way to build upon what you're really doing yeah just keep on moving it'll take time but you'll get there yeah exactly man Perfect. Yeah, oh, great answers there. Yeah. So now it's time to jump onto our cool. chocolate fatale, oh, which, yeah, yeah. as noted in our previous episode, doesn't actually contain <laughs> chocolate in. But yeah, cool. let's jump into it. Oh man, I love this. Sauce. Yeah, it looks nice. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. I love the flavor in this one. It's, it's mm. quite a contrast to the usual, you know, chili mm. sauce. Oh, mm. That sweetness really. The sweetness. I love it. Wow. Yeah. Man. Mm. Very nice flavor. Mm, I nice think I find about this one is that the heat builds as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just sweet, it's also lacquer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Typical of the Fatali top shirt um, peppers. Yeah. They're almost Reaper in style in terms of the heat distribution. Mm. Mm. But they are excellent peppers. Um, they, I'd say, probably in the same range as habaneros, mm. but it depends on how much you're putting into your sauce. Yeah. So I don't think there's a hell of a lot of fatale in the sauce, but yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So before I ask you a question, how are you finding yourself so far? Because we're done now with the yeah. lower five. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know the, the I think it was the second one. Okay, well this one's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it does well. It does well. I don't know where. Let me just say. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm really loving the sauce so far. Mm. Um, yeah, the this one is kind of building up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, obviously, it's starting to kind of I'm starting to kind of feel it a bit. Yeah, yeah. I know it's going <laughs> the lower half, but yeah. I'm really starting to yeah. feel it. Starting to sweat a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. My tongue is starting to tingle. Yeah, it's it's starting to tingle. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'm I'm really digging it so far. I'm awesome. keen to see what's what's up yeah. What's next. Yeah. Man. So all right now to my question is um you know now especially during COVID times. What's been the most difficult thing for you, 
being a DJ in South Africa? Uh, the most difficult thing for me, being a DJ. Um, I, I would say one of the most difficult things, and, and it might be the same for a lot of other people, is sure. the, the way in which you kind of need to stand out, I think it is a bit of a challenge because there are, there's a lot of talent. There really is a lot of talent in mm. our country. And um, obviously you don't want to sound like everybody else. Yeah. You want your own sound. Um, mm. You want to kind of be able to, to make your mark, um, especially if you're taking it seriously. Mm. And um, for sure. the difficult thing for me has been to kind of, you know, um, stand out on my own. Mm. Um, but it's it's a challenge that's de definitely necessary for everyone who's taking part in it, and uh, it's a, it's a good it's a good thing you know. Yeah. It's, albeit difficult, mm -hmm. yes, it's yeah. good that it is yeah. because it shows that there's a lot that you need to actually put in. To yeah, exactly. Get back. Yeah, I think um, specifically you know this is probably industry wide mm -hmm. uh, for South Africans. Um, it's really brought out I think the strongest of us. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Not necessarily like evolution. The killing of the week but <laughs> in a different light you know it's made everyone i think realize how hard life can be yeah and it's also given us an opportunity to be grateful for what we have and be fortunate all those things yeah but i mean look we're at the end of the year so i'm sure everyone's tired of talking about COVID <laughs> and hearing yeah. about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's interesting, so we are now on to source number six yeah. source number six yeah so this is our Cook's Cabin, eh? Huh? Yeah. yeah, Cook's Cabin, no yeah. fault. So, this is, of course, wow. um, you know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at that label. <laughs> so, previously, we've tried the Makiri Kiri being a Peri Peri style sauce. Cook's mm. Cabin as well, also Peri Peri style sauce, although it is based on a different pepper. It is the Carolina Reaper. Oh, no. Sorry. I talk on the correction. It's a ghost pepper. Ghost pepper. More uh, technically known as Butchilokia. And um, yeah, I know for a fact this one's got a bit of heat, but um, not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, what better way to understand the sauce than to try it out? So let's cool. dig in again. Yeah. Now. Let's do this. Yeah. Mm. Again, the creaminess, very mm. good, very nice. Flavor. Mm. <laughs> Yo. Delicious, man. Mm. This one, I believe, is also smoked. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of a smoky smoke flavor. flavor yeah. mm -hmm. I may or may not be correct, but I'm definitely tasting a bit of smoky there. Yeah. Now, so Brendan, just a little bit of backstory. So, we started off originally with the six um, up until I think it was the, just the standard six. Then the Makiri Kiri, Cook's Cabin, and the Yossi Sissi came mm. afterwards. Yep. So, we then um, off camera decided what flavor profiles we think they suit the best mm. and the cook's cabin definitely came on that spot there mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah yeah i agree with that yeah um it's also like with, the, with some of the rest where the, the heat comes in a bit later yeah mm. <laughs> yeah this one i'm getting now it's catch me now yeah, yeah. i'm getting really <laughs> that ghost pepper is like uh -huh. yeah, yeah my nose is starting to dupe a little bit <laughs> now it's coming yeah and it's at the in the back of my throat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe while the heat's burning, I should ask my question. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Always yeah. brings out the truth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so something we haven't really touched on yet is, um, you know, of course, you know, a lot of guys in the industry here locally, um, but I think first, <clears throat> on an international basis, sure. there's got to be sort of role models that you look up to, or heroes, or just people that you aspire to in terms of their genres, their style, their sound, all that sort of sure. thing. Give us some idea of an international as well as a local okay. uh, person that you look up to. Cool. Yeah. So the international would definitely be Stimming. Uh, Martin Stimming is his name. Mm. He's a German producer. All right. Um, also very well known for his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quick <laughs> <laughs> all good now, man. Uh, you got to do this like every week. Yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, Stimming is very well known for his original sound, right? Um, in the like minimal deep tech type of sphere. Okay. Um, I really do find a lot of inspiration from his sound, and also also like the way he kind of produces, as well as as his live performance. Mm. Um, he has a very interesting setup. Um, something that is completely original to him oh, yeah. that not a lot of other uh, DJs or producers 
Aviac. Yeah. You can't even be classified as a DJ, mm, more okay. just like a live performer. Yeah, yeah. So still in very, very great talent. He performed. Interesting. <clears throat> he, he's performed, uh, I, I saw him once at Truth. He's something there, but he he's bit, taking it's, it's, it's in the back of. <laughs> yeah. I saw him at Truth Nightclub last year in December. Uh, it was very, it was a very great experience seeing him live. Mm. And yeah, it's I would definitely, definitely do that again. Oh, yeah. um, from a local stand uh, standpoint, I would say Carl Watson. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. He's not just because good. he is, you know, that big. Yeah. Um, his tracks. His tracks yes. are always, always just yeah. top notch. You know, the quality, the mastering. Mm. Um, his DJ sets also, he really does deserve to be at the top. Yeah. Um, really, I can see, you know, he's clearly a hard worker. So, yeah, definitely. So, man, yeah, all the all my respect goes to yeah. him and yeah. me, that regard. There's also a lot of other people yeah, too, but... Those um, are the main ones. Those are out. the main ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. hopefully, awesome. who knows, you know, maybe we can get Carl Watson on the show one day. <laughs> yeah, 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 indeed. <laughs> yeah, you can take Carl Watson if you're watching this. Maybe come try out these hot sauces. We're gummy. <laughs> try it out, gotta try it out. It's cock hot. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now that we've had the Cook's Cabin Loaf Fault, yeah. um, we're on to our Yessie Sissy one. And um, yeah, so a little bit of backstory on this one. It's from a lady at a school where they actually do fundraising mm. by selling these bottles amongst a few oh, other things nice. like they sell jalapenos and onions wow. and a few other sauces. Um, we had the mystery episode with this one in the last episode for the Dacious Apple, yeah. but we decided that the peach apple will be, I'm um, sorry, the Perilous, Perilous peach, peach yeah. will be on the main nine. Okay. Yeah, so this one is a bit more of a chutney one. You'll see it's actually very different to all of the ones that we have on yeah, the show currently. It's quite a bit thicker than your average like chutney type. Yes, of, yeah. 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 Okay. All right, so let's dig in and then I'll ask my question. Yeah, certainly perilous indeed. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Also, very nice flavor. Damn, mm. these, these hot sauces, especially mm. this one. Oh, yeah. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> it does have quite a bite. Mm. Yeah, it does. I didn't expect that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's so nice though. I love that burn. <laughs> There's nothing better than that burn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel the burn. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and did you know? So I'm pretty sure most of our viewers know, but I'm not too sure if you know, Brendan, that um, eating chili sauce actually releases endorphins in your brain mm -hmm. the same way that chocolate does. So it releases endorphins in your brain because you're actually hurting your tongue. Mm -hmm. So you, um, your brain releases endorphins to then counteract that pain level. Yeah. And that's why you kind of at the end of like a really really hot tasting, yeah. you end up feeling like really high <laughs> or lightheaded yeah. because oh, I mean yeah. at the end of the day like you're releasing so many endorphins, so that's yeah. why you feel like on a, a floaty level. Wow, that's yeah. Yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, um, no. human body reacts yeah. to this. Mm. It's very really interesting. Yeah. It's certainly true, you know, because I mean, yeah, it's, I think it's like almost uh, if not the same as that adrenaline response. Yeah, because if you experience pain, your body produces adrenaline, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So on to my question now. Um, during this lockdown period of COVID, have you been working on any special tracks or any skills um, during this time that you can tell us about? Yeah, sure. So, <clears throat> <laughs> well, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> excuse me, I get my Okay, so I've been working on the, like I mentioned earlier, one of my tracks that, that played on 5FM, oh, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the Higher Self song, uh, EP, that was, a, that was a song based in, in an entire EP. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's what I've been working on during the lockdown, getting that, that out, um, mm. as well as two other tracks called Satori and Tao De Xing. Okay. Um, yeah, those are very melodic tracks. Mm. Um, I've kind of, you know, shifted because the EP that I released, um, the Higher Self EP, that was a bit yeah. more in the techno sphere. Okay. And then the Satori EP, 
was a bit more m melodic tech type okay. of vibe. Um, and uh, yeah, now I'm also <clears throat> busy with, with two new songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's um, a bit more like minimal tech. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm dropping a bit more instruments mm. and uh, just, you know, seeing where it goes from there. So yeah, yeah I've been quite busy uh, doing lockdown with, with that's my cool, production. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's good. And actually, um, for the viewers that might not know, would you mind telling us, uh, building on that question actually, sure. is would you mind telling us what an EP is? And sure. also, we know, but for the viewers, under which record label are you currently releasing all your EPs and so on? Cool, so an EP, well, it's called an extended play. And what okay. it basically is, is it's like a mini album. Okay. So instead of like having a big album that has around eight to 12 tracks, mm, yeah. you get like an EP, which is normally normally between like two and six tracks around there. Okay. So it's basically, like I said, just like a mini mm. album, a few songs on it, more than yeah. a single, less yeah. than an album. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah. And the record label? Oh, the record label, yeah. Uh, so the record <laughs> label that I'm currently releasing on is my own. It's called Smash Records. Okay. Um, yeah, and I also kind of release on my own SoundCloud. Mm. Um, you know, just shuffling in between them, but yeah, uh, yeah I did send out um, some of my newer songs to a few other labels, uh, okay. local, and yeah. Yeah. also I guess I'll see how, how it goes. goes. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, how's the heat for you guys? Yeah, so so I can still yeah, feel that. My nose is already just dried up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. same. Man. Well, I think we've had enough time for the burn to kick in from the previous nugget, so um, yeah, it's time sure. for the next one. Yeah, <laughs> next up, let's go. So yeah, so, we've got quite bot. Yeah. Uh, from Roybot, uh, you know, it's the quiet part range, the hottest one. Mm. Uh, translates directly from Afrikaans, of course, to Angry Beard. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's got a bit of a kick. Mm. And, uh, yeah, let's try it as well. Let's see what yeah. it's about. Enjoy. Let's see what yeah. Nice. Jeez, I got a lot on this one. Mm. <laughs> so, do I. It's a lot more of a savory flavor mm. compared to this one. Mm -hmm. um, very herbal as well. <gasps> <laughs> and it's hot. And it's hot, yeah. I just swallowed. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, in this show, we swear, just by the way. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Is it like a, it's a pear pear flavor, right? Um, no, it's, it's more just a general. Um, I understand it's got olive oil as a base, I think. Mm. Um, but in terms of the actual ingredients, we've been informed that they are proprietary. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, yeah. No, something to feel it now. Wow, yeah, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Look, this episode is a lot hotter than my previous one, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll definitely be doing it this way from here on in. That milk's looking real good right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, but remember, we've got a tap out segment here. So whoever, well, obviously, it's mainly going to be for our guests. Yeah. We have the tap out capabilities of whenever we want to do this. But if our guest taps out, then that's where he stays in the leaderboard. So there's only one more really to go. Yes. Do you think you can make it? <laughs> Yeah, then I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now catch me, eh? Woo! Yes, no. Is it tap out if we drink water? Like? Yeah, anything. Oh. If you drink either water or milk, it's a tap out. I'm not that weak. Men went to war, oh, my guys. It is on fire. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, looking back, scenario: if you could build a time machine yeah. and you could go back to either your younger self or your peers at the time. Yeah. What would you give them as a point of advice um, from your perspective from today? You know, what advice could you give you know, younger producers wow. and also just the general younger producers of South Africa? Okay, yeah. so, um, so what I would um, tell myself in that, you know, in that position, if I had like a time machine, would be just to keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. Don't try and change yourself to accommodate other people. Mm. Just keep on doing what you're doing. You know, the process has like a weird way of, of doing things on its own. Yeah. Just go what you feel is right. 
Uh, definitely use your emotion, um, use your, your gut feeling, your instinct, your intuition, because um, that, that's what kind of guides me, you know, with making music. I use it more than my logical mind. Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, awesome. yeah, just use your gut. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is fun. Uh, Relentless, yeah. Ben. Yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Really. Just yeah. use your gut and just keep on going. That's... That's it, man. No, man. that's a great answer. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm at a bit of a loss for yes, words. Yeah, but, uh, no, it's quite hard. Just trying to survive here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, jeez. No, excellent. All job. right, so I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> we're ready to jump on to the next one, yeah? The, oh. the last one of our main nine, but then we still got a mystery um, segment here after. Yeah. So this last one is the P3. Also from Johnny Hexberg. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And this is our hottest one. Oh, this on the is the hottest one. So far. Mm. That we have so far. Wow. And we're still feeling the residual of the last one. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, it's it's going to be like compound. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, bottoms up, guys. Enjoy. Cheers. Two, Cheers. Two, one. Let's hit it. <laughs> so... <coughs> Um, basically, I think what we need to tell our viewers as well, they might be wondering, P3, what does that stand for? Is it parking level 3? No, it's not. Um, so basically, it stands for, if I'm not mistaken, pure premium powders, because there are various chili powders involved in the manufacture of the sauce. Mm. Derek, you can knock me on the head for this one if I get it wrong, but it's a fantastic sauce, combination of multiple chilies, and wow, that heat is right yeah. up there. Really yeah. honest. I don't even taste the flavor at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just burn. Burn. Yeah. I mean, it does have its like burny flavor, but yeah. it's. Oh, okay, mm. now it's getting intense. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. So, um, while you're still <clears throat> suffering there a bit, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. So, you know, um, for a lot of viewers that might not know, there are currently really like two main brands of DJ equipment in South Africa. One being Denon and the other one being Pioneer. Yeah. Which, in your opinion, Brendan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is the better one for you? Okay, so I do not have a lot of experience on Denon, so I, I cannot give my... <laughs> I cannot give my opinion. I, I cannot... Give my <laughs> I cannot give you know, unfortunately, because I <clears throat> I wanna go for it, but I'm not Okay. <laughs> I cannot give my opinion on it because yeah. I do not have experience in it. But as an industry standard, Pioneer has stood out for so long. Mm. And Denim has been making quality products like I, you know, see from other DJs. Yeah. <sighs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, there, at least there's someone showing us Pioneer, you know, some competition. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Kind of then pushes Pioneer to up their products. And they've also released a new range of CDJs quite recently. Yeah. And I think it is something to do also with Den on, you know, up in the game. The game, yeah. So, at this point, I'd say I'm still, you know, on Pioneer side, just mm. because, you know, I don't have experience on Den on. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that they're kind of pushing kind of, it. Yes, exactly. Because, you know, innovation oh. always pushes... Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. yeah, so innovation always pushes creativity, and that's what I found with Den on. Be your Be your The more you talk, the worse it burns. Yeah, yeah. So it just creates that creativity and competition is always great. So, yeah. Yeah. Woo. Jeez. So we've made it this far, guys. Mm. Um, I think we've pretty much. Just try the hottest one on our range. That's mm. hot. Um, yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> and I think, you know, we've got to say congrats to Brendan. I think at least we'll make it this far. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, we've mm -hmm. got one nugget left. Yeah. We've got one more question left. So I think maybe this one might even get the heat a little bit down from yeah. this last one now. But let's hit it, guys. Yeah, so it's our mystery yeah. episode, our mystery segment, which we obviously change every single episode. Mm. And this one is the Smoky Vasco. This is from okay. CND, uh, CND Hot Sauce. Um, they go by the name the manufacturers of Clinton and D. This is yeah. another fantastic hot sauce from uh, Cape Town, from Gordon's Bay. Mm. So we say thank you very much to the guys at CND Hot Sauce. Um, let's try your sauce out. Yeah, yeah. cool. Let's do it. Mm. Amps. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's just yeah, nice. That's I just don't know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is also a little bit hot. I don't know, yeah, if it's like the old flavor just coming up again or this one. But oh, there's, shock. there's definitely some heat in there. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm. There is some heat. Yeah, so this one is their um, base off of Tabasco sauce, mm. but they just added a lot more smoky flavors in it. Yeah, smoky flavors. Mm. You can taste it. Mm. It's mm. good. It's really good hot sauce. Mm. So, yeah, mm. yeah, typical Louisiana style, like Tabasco. Um, yeah. 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 Take us a sip of this milk now since we're done. Yeah, yeah, can okay. I? Or should I? Should I come in? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Eighteen's all the question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Unless you want to. Fine. <laughs> Sooner or later, we're gonna have an episode of the tap out. Yeah. The, yeah. Um, Let's get straight into it then. Okay, so <clears throat> we've gone through pretty much everything I think we can ask you. We've learnt and understood what you're about and all that sort of stuff. I think, not thinking specifically in terms of music and stuff like that. Tell us a little bit more, I think, as your moment to shine in terms of what's going on with your life, sure. what are your other interests and things like that, your hobbies and whatnot, maybe some strife, I don't know, let us know, man. Awesome. So, um, yeah, apart from the music side, I always try and see what other business elements I can incorporate mm. into my life, mm. but mainly it should be things that I enjoy doing, or else it's not worth pursu uh, pursuing, for yeah. sure. And, um, yeah, the other things that I'm busy with now is... Uh, I'm starting up a clothing brand with, with the other guys there at Smashed, yeah, uh, Leo, Royce and Sean. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're starting up a clothing brand um, and also we've got, and this is, okay, this is going to be a bit more slow on the music side, but we've got an, uh, an event coming up in December <coughs> okay. um, with Incognito Social yeah. called Chaos Theory, uh, yeah. uh, oh, which is going to be hosted at Carfax and Toy. Ah, okay, um, that's awesome. So it's really, I mean, a lot of people know Toy, yeah. a lot of people know Carfax. Yeah. Um, it's venues with outstanding sound, um, so we just want to create the best experience that we mm. can there. Definitely. And um, you know, just keep on pushing it yeah. as well as whatever future things come up for RTVX. Yeah, yeah exactly. that would be great. Yeah. Um, that's definitely something I'm, I'm very passionate about, you know, just doing all these different things, working with these interesting people like yeah. yourselves. Yeah. And uh, you know, making things happen. Yeah, that's, that's great. Man. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> awesome stuff. So, guys, we're now at the end of the segment. But before Brandon can touch his mouth, there, we're gonna ask him while his mouth is still burning, burning. which three <laughs> of these ten you can pick any three are your absolute favorites that favorite. you found. That's just like boom. Mm. That I would want to have. So, for you. I, I, yeah. can't, I can't remember the name now, but it was that the one with the lemon. The one oh, with yeah. lemon, Dr. Okay. Trouble. Dr. Trouble. Dr. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, so that, was, that was something that kind of stood out mm. for me. Mm. Um, the flavor was just... Yeah, it's really it's top, top, it's top notch. Yeah. 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 It's very rich in flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah with a lemon flavor. Yes, and, yes. Uh, it's very good. Ah, awesome. Very good. And yeah. the other two? I mean, the, the others, <clears throat> it's hard to pick. But, yeah. but this one was also the Johnny uh, Hexburg. Was really, really nice. Yeah, the chocolate, chocolate 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 Burning, as, <laughs> but I guess you know if you're into it, then yes, yeah. that's what, what they're you, about. Yeah, that's exactly. what you're about. That's yeah, yeah. Really fucking chili exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Kakat. 
We really, oh, sorry, we really appreciate it. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to all of our channels, yeah, sure, and sure, also sure, go sure. and check yeah. out Neo socials, all of his um, music socials as well, if you want all of his personal socials as well. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Brendan, for coming and chilling with us, trying some hot sauces and making it all the way to the tenth. Um, sauce there with yeah, us. Yeah, um, I was so, it was really a great experience. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, and, okay. um, yeah, dude, that's really, really good. No, really thanks, good man. Stuff, congrats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, congrats. Yeah, cool. Thank you.